In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install an Ubuntu server in a VMware workstation using an Ubuntu desktop. Let's get started. First, you have to download the ISO image from the Ubuntu website. Just type Ubuntu download. Click on this one and then just click the server tab. Then down, download Ubuntu Server 22.4.3 LTS. Since I already downloaded the ISO image, I don't need to re-download it again. It's already in my folder and I have to cancel this one. So I already downloaded the file. Next is to create a virtual machine. So just click on File, New Virtual Machine. Then use the ISO image that uh, you just download it, click on next, select Linux, and then the version is 64 bit. Click on next, name it. You can name it as anything as you want there. So SRC, erase, toolkit, and then the location where you want to save the uh, information about your vm so you can vmware and then since this is the name and when you click on open it will automatically create a folder for you click on next and then it will ask you to um allocate a disk size so i'm gonna put like 50 gig here and then just use the split virtual disk. Next, then I have customized the hardware here. So on the network adapter, I'm gonna use the bridge network here. What else? And that's it. I will leave the memory to four gig and the processor to two, then just close it. Then just hit finish. Yep, and then close. So just select the first one. Now it will ask you to choose the language. Let's choose English and continue without updating. Done. And then just hit done. Now, what I want to do here is to since by default when you're installing a, a VM within the workstation, then it is via the DHCP. So I want to make this a static entry. So let's edit and then change it to manual. And subnet would be 192.168.50.0 slash 24. And I already allocated an IP for this. So 192.168.50.83. Um, and my gateway is that one. I have my own name server, so it's gonna be one and two and six eight of fifty that two two two. And let's put another backup. And search domain would be I'm gonna put Belrays dot toolkit. And then just hit save. As you can see, it's applying the configuration and it's showing static. And then hit on done, then just done, done, then select continue. And then just hit done. Just leave it as is. Hit done and then continue. Now we have to specify our name, the name of our server. Oh, which is SRC.
No race. Toolkit. We're going to put the same name. Toolkit. I'm going to use SRC as a username. I'm going to select source. I'm going to add a simple password. And then done so just to skip we don't need that continue then tick the install up in ssh server so at the end of this installation we can ssh to this server yeah then done and hit done and let's wait Let's wait to finish the update and after that it will reboot. Now it's fully complete, then let's reboot. Just hit enter. Now our server is ready. Let's see if we could log in. So as you remember, the username I put in there was source, then the password. Yep, we're in. So let's see if we could SSH to this newly created Ubuntu server. So from my terminal, this is another server. So it has a different IP address. So in here, the IP address is that 83. Now let's check if we could SSH to it. We should be able to SSH the username at 192.168.50.83. Yes. Nice. So the uh, Ubuntu server is ready to anything that you want to do there. Thank you.